Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karya. You guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session, I'm going to take you through how to use a GraphQL with Node.js and a Postgres. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So I have this VS code open in here. Uh, I'm going to start from very scratch. I'm going to create a new project. Uh, this is it. I got my package.json already. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the first very first file which is index.js and I need few dependencies the first one is of course npm install express then sqlize uh, the next thing is you will need a pg pg at store and uh, I guess okay so then I have this index.js here already So uh, next thing you need is, uh, I got my node modules folder here. Next thing you need is bunch of folders, uh, the resolvers, models, and uh, models is in a root folder, and schemas, schemas, which is also in the root folder. So we have these three folders and index.js. So we need a server. express and uh, inside models I need one file I'll consider as atom atom.js and uh, index.js so we'll import all the uh, things into the index let's suppose atom products whatever it may be so the atom contains This is my item, okay, which is connected to SQLize and SQLize where I'm defining one item uh, with the name, which with type of string, allow null, which is false and description. So I need a type and description. These are the two fields that I'm going to use with the timestamp. So this is it. Inside index will have a connection with the SQLize and that connection contains a database, password and secret. So this is my secret database and this is my password with the host localhost and dialect that you need to choose which dialect, which driver like MySQL, Postgres, SQLite that you can define in here. We are going to use a Postgres for this tutorial. So which will connect to item and then this sync, this will allow you to auto create if the tables are not there, it will create automatically. So you don't have to worry about tables are there or not. So this is it. So I got my two files already. So inside schema, we have an index.js and it contains a normal Apollo server a schema, which is a GQL. This is a GraphQL schema, which contains one item. So you can query all atoms at once or one by one. And you have a mutation, mutation which contains, you can create something, add it or delete. This kind of things comes into the mutation so whatever you want to query like to get something you can use a query and to add something you can use the mutation so this is very simplest uh, possible example that we are using in here now let's go to the resolvers where we'll have another index.js that will contain models so what it will do is it will query all atoms this is uh, this is the key that you can choose according to your choice so i need all atoms i need to either get all atoms so it will async with item dot find all and uh, because find all is the method that we use in a sqlize so it is coming from models and the next one is the mutation so you can define like if these things are coming then you can create so you can create as many as you want like create update if you want to update in here so what you will do so like that you can uh, define a number of other things as per your choice now the last thing is to set up the express so now you will need a uh, apollo server type divs that you have defined in the schema resolvers and sqlize of course to connect with uh, so you can create a one function start server or uh, you can create as per your choice later you will need a server with uh, 
Apollo server you are creating. So once you create the Apollo server, you need to define type depths, resolvers, and this is uh, to enable uh, introspection in the Apollo sandbox. So you will have a nice UI to play around with in a playground. So playground currently it is false. The next thing is you need to start the server. So this is this is what how you will start the server of Apollo and that is where you can add your middleware app of Express into it. Next thing is of course you need to start the server of Express that uh, you can define your port according to your choice. So you will say the sandbox is available at this 4000 and slash server dot GraphQL path and uh, normal server you can go here. So next thing is you need to authenticate uh, the database that you are defining inside the schemas models. Okay, this is you need to authenticate first. So that's what we are doing in here. And I'll quickly go to terminal. I'll try to start this. I don't have this start script in here. You can add according to your choice. So this is nodemon maybe if you can add npm install hyphen d nodemon so that's how you can use a nodemon space index so you don't have to restart your server or you can use hyphen fn watch mode node space index hyphen fn watch and then you can say npm start and this is pretty much it to start the server so one thing we missed here that we don't have a postgres database yet i have running already so that's why we are getting this so for that what you can do is you need a uh, docker compose dot yaml file so you need this docker compose dot yaml inside that you need this postgres and once you up this like command plus j hopefully you have a docker already so docker compose up hyphen hyphen build hit enter and it should get running so now i'll start this so it got created everything got created and we are good to go now i'll go to the new tab i'll hit npm start once again and that's how you got everything set up okay so i got my post race running and uh, if you want you can use the mysql here or whatever you uh, prefer uh, but uh, make sure you have a right credentials given in here i have used the same inside my index of the models okay this is what you have to define of course you have to define the environment file and inside that you you can use dot env package to get this so we are good here i guess and now what we can do next is we can go to the link that that is in here just click here make sure you are not using the safari safari doesn't uh, support this graphql editor so what i'll do is I'll, I'll click here first i'll get this link Control x and now i'll close this quickly i'll go to the chrome paste hit enter and you're good to go so this is what the playground uh, you will say that we need so let's suppose if i wanted to create one item i'll define the way like this to create a new item with a name and description hit run and you will get this the very first uh, data that you have inserted in here the next thing this is a mutation of course this is how the mutation works mutate the data meaning inserting updating deleting this kind of things comes into the mutation where you can query and a number of other things that you can do next thing you can query like what the things i wanted to fetch so these are the things you can fetch okay i can uh, fetch either a single data or either a multiple uh, things that i want so now uh, the next most important thing is you can increase whatever you want inside your resolvers so here you can add as many things as you want find by id find by id and description or uh, these are the things no need to add but apart from this many things you can add in here uh, which you can uh, define inside your models with the multiple 
connecting models okay so i guess this is the prettiest easiest way to demonstrate this graphql or postgres node.js working mechanism so i hope this video is helpful to you guys thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed till then see you soon bye bye